Ostium of the maxillary sinus is usually found in the options are anterior part of the hiatus semilunaris, middle part of the hiatus semilunaris, posterior part of the hiatus semilunaris, and floor of the hiatus semilunaris. So basically, you have something in coma that is your hiatus semilunaris, right? You have to just identify the location in the hiatus semilunaris. Now, what is this hiatus semilunaris? That is a uh, semicircular recession that is seen in the lateral wall of the nose. So, I will be just uh, giving you an overview of the lateral wall of the nose. And if you see the lateral wall of the nose, there are three turbinates in this. The uppermost is known as the superior turbinate or superior concha. The middle one is known as the middle concha or turbinate. And then we have the inferior one that is known as the inferior turbinate. Now, there are the meatuses. Below each turbinate, you will find the meters of the same name. So, here this whole area is going to be the superior meters. Then you have the middle meters. And this one is going to be the inferior meters. So, I hope it is understood till here. Now, there are a lot of openings in the lateral wall of the uh, nose and these openings are like from the sphenoid sinus, these are from lacrimal sac, frontal sinus and the maxillary sinus and even the ethmoidal sinus. So, a lot of openings are there. So, we have to just identify the location of various uh, openings here, right. So, uh, we will start from the ethmoid sinus. Now, the ethmoid sinus opening or the air cells are going to be present in the uh, superior meters as well as the middle meters, both the things actually. So, if you see this one in the superior meters, this one is the posterior ethmoid sinus opening. Then you have the other openings that is the anterior ethmoidal sinus and here you will have the middle ethmoid sinus. Okay, so, you will be seeing the middle ethmoid sinus in the middle meters as well as the anterior ethmoid sinus in the middle meters and that too in the anterior part of the hiatus semilunaris. Now, this particular area, if you see this semilunar area, that is known as the hiatus semilunaris and the anterior part of this is going to have the anterior ethmoid sinus and the anterior most part of this particular hiatus semilunaris house the opening of from the frontal sinus. So, there will be frontal sinus opening that will be seen in the anterior most part of the uh, hiatus semilunaris. Then the anterior ethmoidal sinus will be seen in the anterior part of the hiatus semilunaris. And if you see this is the posterior part of the hiatus semilunaris and this particular part is going to house the opening of the maxillary sinus and that is what our question was also right. So, in the middle meters, we have already seen that yes, in the middle meters, you will have the middle ethmoid sinus opening and then we will come to the hiatus semilunaris where the anterior most part uh, is going to house the opening of the frontal sinus. Then you have the anterior ethmoid sinus and the posterior part is going to have the maxillary sinus. Okay. So, this is clear till here. Now, we will see the superior meters. Now, in the superior meters, you will see the opening of the posterior ethmoid sinus and sometimes according to the some books, the opening of the sphenoid sinus is also seen in the superior meters, but some book says that is seen above the superior turbinate and that is seen near the sphenoid ethmoid recess. Okay, there is a recess that is called as sphenoid ethmoid recess. So, there also you can see the sphenoid sinus opening. So, that is a different part uh, and it is beyond the scope of discussion here, but yes, if you go to the inferior meters here, so in the inferior meters, you will see an opening and this particular opening is the opening of the lacrimal sac. Now, there will be uh, the opening of the lacrimal sac will, be there, sac will be there and that will be seen in the inferior meters and there will be a wall that will be guarding this particular opening and that is known as the Hessner's wall. So, this is all about the discussion about the lateral wall. And we have specifically discussed the structures that are present in different parts of the hiatus semilunaris. 
So if we go back to the question, the ostium of the maxillary sinus, that means the opening of the maxillary sinus is usually found in the posterior part of the hiatus semilunaris. Again, I'll make a semilunar thing and I'll tell you the anterior most part is going to house the opening of the frontal sinus. Then there will be openings in the anterior part itself, there will be opening of the anterior ethmoid sinus. And yes, in the posterior part, you'll see the opening or the ostium of the maxillary sinus. So our answer is going to be the posterior part of the hiatus semilunaris. The option 3 is going to be the correct answer here.